SUNY Lee hasn't been home to Minnesota since her welcome home parade right after winning gold at the Tokyo Games this summer. I definitely want to go back home sometime soon because I miss my family, miss my friends, and I think it would just be nice to kind of be back in my hometown. Since winning the gymnastics all around, SUNY has become one of the most famous athletes in the country, which is not the ideal runway to start a college career. Is she still a premier athlete, the, the, in my opinion, the best athlete in the world? Yes. She needed some time off after the Olympics. And, you know, unfortunately in her world, she didn't get that. Before the Olympics, could you even have imagined that this would kind of be where you were at heading into your first college meet? No, like, I think it's so crazy to just look at the progress that I've made, like not even just physically in my gymnastics, but also mentally. Once I went through the Olympics and then I went to LA, I really had to grow up because I had to take on so many responsibilities by myself. I was living by myself and I think Having to do that has really helped me in college because the transition has not been easy. SUNY struggled with her mental health over the past couple months. She's working on that while also healing from a shin injury and training for her college debut. That means different rules, equipment, and routines. As far as I'm doing my second half, like what I did at the Olympics, I'm just doing the second half. It's way easier and Beam is just downgraded as well. Floor is really downgraded. Lee will likely compete in bars and beam and possibly floor this weekend. SUNY's goals for the season, individual and team SEC titles. Ren Clayton, WCCO4 Sports.